If you've just tuned in, we're talking to Sleepless in Seattle. You called a radio station? Christmas Eve. He phones in one of those radio call-in shows. He tells them that his dad needs a new wife. And the shrinkette practically forces a guy onto the phone and says, Tell me, what was so special about your wife? Well, Dr. Marshall feels I think. It was like... Magic. Magic. Sleepless in Seattle? That's what you call them on the show because he can't sleep. And now 2,000 women want his number. Dear Sleepless in Seattle, you're the most attractive man I ever laid ears on. The guy could be a crackhead. Actually, he sounded nice. You know it's easier to be killed by a terrorist than it is to get married over the age of 40. That's not true. That statistic is not true. That's right. It's not true. But it feels true. Sandy has a girlfriend, Glenda. She's a weightlifter. Well, it's not like her neck is bigger than her head. No, 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 no. I'm not asking you to set me up. What about Walter? Walter and I are engaged. What? Today, I consider myself the luckiest man, 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 face of the earth. The Lou Gehrig life. The Lou Gehrig life. When's the last time you were out there? Uh, Jimmy Carter, 1978. Things are a little different now. I am having all of these fantasies about some man I have never even met who lives in Seattle. It rains nine months of the year in Seattle. I know! Tiramisu. What is tiramisu? You'll see. Some woman is gonna want me to do it to her and I'm not gonna know what it is. You'll love it. What if I never meet him? What if this man is my destiny and I never meet him? Your destiny can be your doom. I want to meet you. Dad, read this, read this. Where is Seattle? Right. Where's Baltimore? That's ah, right there. Look, one, two, three, four, but there's like 26 states. But what I really don't want to do is end up always wondering what might have happened and knowing I could have done something. Is this crazy? That's what I'm trying to tell you. What women are looking for. Packs in a cute bun. This is the one I like. There is no way that we are going on a plane to meet some woman who could be a crazy, sick lunatic. Didn't you see Fatal Attraction? I mean, you, can't, you can't even turn on the news nowadays without hearing about how some babe thought some guy's butt was cute. So how's my butt? Not bad. Really? Yeah. Is it cute, though? You're grading on a curve? Stop right there. The only hope for justice. For everybody's sake, just get out of here! Is an outlaw. When push comes to shove, you're going to be dealing with me. I look forward to it. It's our duty to inform the authorities of Mr. Gillum's whereabouts. Sam, Sam, something's wrong! Face your mirror or the children. I'll kill you. Jean-Claude Van Damme. He's all they've got and all they need. Nowhere to run. Tom Cruise. Fence calls Colonel Nathan Jessup. Jack Nicholson. You ever served in an infantry unit, son? No, sir. We follow orders or people die. It's that simple. Demi Moore. You can now buy A Few Good Men on video. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! A Few Good Men. Get your copy now. Round 
Valentine time. A thousand people freezing their butts off waiting to worship a rat. Weatherman Phil Connors is spending the day in Puxatawney, Pennsylvania. Phil? Ned! Ned Ryerson, I did the whistling belly button trick at the high school talent show. Bing! Bing! But Phil's about to find out. He's not just stuck in Puxatawney. Will you be checking out today, Mr. Connors? Chance of departure today, 100%. He's stuck... In Groundhog Day. I'm reliving the same day over and over. Phil? Ned Ryerson? Bang! Do you ever have deja vu, Mrs. Lancaster? I don't think so, but I could check with the kitchen. Well, it's Groundhog Day. Again? At first, he was a little anxious. Phil? What? Will you be checking out today, Mr. Connors? I'd say the chance of departure is 80%. But now... We could do whatever we want. He's discovering the possibilities. Don't you worry about cholesterol? Why? And living life mm. like there's Phil? no tomorrow. Phil Connors! Ned! Because there isn't. I am an immortal. I have been stabbed, shot, burned, frozen, electrocuted. I'm a god. You're a god. I'm a god. I'm not the god. He's out of his gourd. But to get what his heart wants most... What are you looking for, Phil? A date for the weekend? ...means living this day over again, <laughs> till he gets it right. Believe it or not, I studied 19th century French poetry. <laughs> what a waste of time. I studied 19th century French poetry. La fille qui j'aime You speak French. Oui. Bill Murray. Andy McDowell. To the Groundhog. I always drink to world peace. Well, what should we drink to? I like to say a prayer and drink to world peace. Don't drive angry. Don't drive angry. He might be okay. Yes! Groundhog Day! Life has a funny way of repeating itself. What did you do today? Oh, same old, same old. campaign trail today. Um, Left from Hampton's Air Force Base on Plus four. three. Roger in place. Plus six. Long way. Plus Plus 12. Clear. clear. But there's a lot yet to do. What the hell kind of gun is that? Something I made. Wouldn't be interested in selling her, would you? No, I need it. For what? To assassinate the president. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at a living legend. The only active agent who ever lost a president. Oh my god. That's you. Yeah. Frank Oregon, the Secret Service agent. Yeah. You were JFK's favorite agent, the best and the brightest. Fate has brought us together, Frank. Who the hell is this? Why not call me Booth? Booth and Flair, Panache. What makes you think you'll call again? Panache. Panache? Yeah, it means flamboyance. I know what it means. Really? I had to look it up. This guy's gonna make a try. And I've gotta come back, Sam. Frank, and your age. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States! Do you really have the guts to take a bullet, Frank? Gun! False alarm! The balloon get you a little panic? You keep him away from the President, away from the White House, and you sure as hell better keep him away from me. What do you think? I think maybe you're too close to all this, Frank. You know, it does make me wonder about Dallas, though. Did you really do all you could have? We got him. He's right across the street. You better pray I don't find you, you punk. The clock's ticking, Frank. What do you see when you're in the dark and the demons come? I see you standing over the grave of another dead president. That's not gonna happen.